today is day six of my seven day Christmas card series. As much as we all love techniques and fun folds, sometimes we just want to make cards that are clean and simple, quick and easy, and that's what I'm going to focus on today. So I have lots of card designs to share with you, so let's get stamping. For card number one, I'm bringing in this beautiful designer series paper. This is from our Storybook Gnomes um, 12 by 12 package of paper. I love this paper. So I'm going to trim this down at the three inch mark. I love anything that has the Scandinavian look. Um, I come by that naturally <laughs> because that's the heritage on my mother's side and uh, yeah I'm always drawn to that. So I am going to bring in my reindeer dies now and this is the die that I'm going to use so I am just going to um, cut out just a simple deer. That's it. I'm not going to be stamping or anything on this. Now I'm going to cut the same deer out of one of our foam adhesive sheets from Stampin' Up. So I could just use Stampin' Dimensionals, but I want this deer to be completely raised. I'm just trimming around to get it to fit on here and run that through. So of course I'm not throwing this away because I can use every last bit of that. Peel this off. And just line it up. So I really like that extra added dimension all the way around my reindeer, which is why I use that whole adhesive sheet instead of just stamping dimensionals. Now I'm going to bring in a piece of basic white cardstock. I'm going to peel off this back layer. Gear down. And I'm actually going to keep this in, in with my set of dies because I could do a lot of things with that. I could use that for a mask, um, a stencil. So I'm going to save that. And now I'm going to stamp my sentiment. This is from the Regal Reindeer stamp set, which coordinates with these dies. So I've just pulled a piece of soft suede out of my scrap paper basket. And I'm going to emboss the sentiment with white. So I've just rubbed my embossing buddy on top of that. And for this step, you can use Versamark or you can use the white ink pad. I'm using the white ink pad. And you could just stamp directly onto the front of the card, but I want some, some embossing. So I'm going to keep that up. So I'm just putting on some white powder. And heat that up. And I'm just trimming that out using my scissors. And I'm just going to glue that right on top of my card. So I went ahead and cut this down to measure five by three and three quarters, just because I had a little idea of adding a tiny little bit of color to this. Tiny, tiny little bit. So I'm just going to bring my glue dots in. Plus I decided I wanted to add a little bit of texture. So still a very simple card, which you just gotta love that and I'm just Folding that in half, making just an itty bitty loop. And I'm going to use another glue dot. Put that behind that. And I just want like just a tiny little bit of color popping through up near the top here. Just, just that tiny little bit. And then I'm just going to put this onto my 
basic white card base using some Stampin' Dimensionals. So I have some bits and pieces here I wanna use up. I'm just gonna trim that around. And from the same stamp set, I'm gonna stamp the sentiment inside the card using Real Red ink. And there's that card finished. Is very easy, but it's really, really pretty, I think. For the next card, I'm pulling in my Aspen um, tree die piece of silver cardstock. And my silver cardstock actually has our um, adhesive sheets stuck behind it. So after I cut this with the die, it will be all ready to place onto the card. Okay, and I'm just going to cut away the uh, outside. So I'm going to set that aside and work on my card base. So this is basic white, again, three and three quarters by five, but the magic of this piece is I'm going to put on some of our linen cardstock, which feels exactly like linen. It's really cool. It's got adhesive behind it. So I'm going to cut this down uh, to three and three quarters by five as well. So these come in 12 by 12 pieces. So three and three quarters. Five. See, that just peels right off. I'm just going to put that right onto my cardstock. Now I'm going to put this on. So I'm just peeling off the backing from that adhesive. Trim off that excess. And then I'm just putting this on a four by five and a quarter piece of real red. And then I've I'm going to adhere this to my card front. I have some real red cardstock and I'm going to stamp my sentiment and emboss it in red. And I'm going to use the Merry Christmas from the Framed and Festive stamp set. And all of the um, supplies that I use on my cards are um, posted on my blog and the link for that is in the description down below. And I'm going to cut this out with um, a die from the Stitch Shapes collection. So I'm just going to trim up to that S. Take some uh, Stampin' Dimensionals. And put that onto my card. And I'm gonna put a silver pearl right here, which is gonna pull the silver in. Stamp my sentiment inside the card. Part two done. Simple, but again, you've got that beautiful design with the die and the silver and the texture with that linen paper is super cool, a bit of embossing, clean and simple. I am bringing in a piece of paper from our Celebrate Everything Designer Series paper pack. This is um, a host only stamps, um, a host only reward that you can get with qualifying orders. And this is one of my favorite designer series paper packs this year. 
I'm cutting this down to measure four by five and a quarter. And I am bringing in my mint macaron ink pad. And I'm just gonna swipe it right across. Now I'm gonna do the same thing but with granny apple green because I just wanna brighten this up just a little bit. to glue on to my card base. A piece of shaded spruce cardstock. This measures three um, and three quarters by four. And I'm going to bring in my white ink pad and I have my whimsical woodland embossing folder. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, ink this up. So I am going to do do do. I'm going to ink up. I'm going to ink up the side where you can feel the bumps raised. And I don't need a lot because I'm actually going to cut this piece out to go onto my card. But I just do want to make sure it's inked up, of course. Okay, so let's. Stick this in. And run that through my machine. Now I've got that pretty white on my green. So I went ahead and cut out my embossed piece and some granny apple green and some basic white cardstock with my deckled rectangle ribbons and um, the little bits of fun foam that I had left over from my first card when I did my die cut or the adhesive foam I should say is what I used to adhere this. So I'm going to put this onto my card front. I have a scrap piece of basic black cardstock and I'm bringing in the same stamp set I used on the last card and I'm using the same image, the Merry Christmas and I'm also embossing it once again with white. Again, bringing in that leftover bit of the adhesive, I'm going to put a bit behind my sentiment. And I'm just going to position that right up at the top. And then I made a, a bow from my ribbons. I'm going to put that on with a glue dot. And I'm going to bring in my rhinestones and just add a rhinestone to the top of these two trees. I'm going to take my clear wink of Stella and just add a little bit of shimmer to these two trees. I'm stamping the sentiment with shaded spruce and the fa la 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 with the granny apple. Another quick and easy card. I'm using real red and shaded spruce. I am going to start with my real red first and the stamp set I'm using is Ringed with Nature. So this does have coordinating dies but I'm not using the dies on this card. I'm going to start by stamping my poinsettia and this is going to be landscape and I'm just going to stamp the poinsettia all the way across. I'm just kind of turning it around here and there and I've got something stuck on my stamp so let's get that off. There we go. Okay, and now I'm going to fill that in with some leaves using shaded spruce. And then the smaller leaf. Now 
Now I'm going to put this on my Stamparatus because I want to make sure I get a really good dark sentiment, which is going to be Merry Christmas. And I'm going to stamp that in basic black, which is my memento. And actually that's good and dark, and that's because I re-inked my ink pad the other day. Now I'm bringing in my tear and tape, and I'm just going to lay it across the top. fold those ends over and put on some real red ribbon. And this is going to go on a white card base. And I'm going to make a ribbon bow and put that on the front. This is a ribbon bow contraption. Some of you have seen this in my other videos. I love it makes perfect bows. It's just a board with holes in it and two pegs and I really really love using this. And for the center of each flower I'm going to put um, an iridescent gem. Well three because there's not enough to put one over there. Add some clear wink of Stella to the red. And the inside I'm going to stamp from our home to yours. And I'm going to stamp a poinsettia on a couple leaves in the center as well. Another very, very, very fast, but very pretty Christmas card. For my last card, I am using the Celebrate with Tag stamp set and the Coordinating uh, Celebrations Tag dies. So I'm going to pull out my little mitten. I have a piece of basic white cardstock, and I'm going to stamp the mitten with balmy blue ink. And to give these some texture, I'm just running them through my um, my hive embossing folder. And I'm just going to sponge around the edges with my balmy blue just to remove any of that white. And it's also going to add some shading to this. Okay, so I have just glued on a strip of designer series paper that measures five and a half by three and three quarters. This is from the um, DSP that I used earlier today that has the little gnomes on the back. So adorable. We have dies that cut out all those gnomes, I should mention, if you didn't know that. So now I have a piece of basic white. This measures three and three quarters by five and a quarter, and I'm bringing in my um, trio punch, and I'm going to punch along the two bottom corners. I'm inking up my Merry Christmas with my black memento. This Merry Christmas is from the same stamp set. I'm just going to stamp it down. And now I'm bringing in our sweet sorbet baker's twine and I'm just going to add a knot at one end. And trim it. And it's up to you how long you want to make this. 
and you'll see what I'm up to in a second. Um, so that's why I'm not giving an actual measurement here. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to position my little mittens on my card, I think like that. Let's move this out of the way. So I'm going to pop those up with Stampin' Dimensionals. Actually, I'm gonna put dimensionals on only one and glue the other one down. So I'm gonna take a glue dot now. I'm just gonna pick it up and kind of roll it into a tiny little um, dot and press this knot into there. Grab another one, press it here. And then this bit, I want to twist it around. And I'm going to pop this panel up on my card using more Stampin' Dimensionals. And a rhinestone for inside um, my mittens. Now taking Sweet Sorbet, I'm going to stamp my sentiment which is from, again, the Framed and Festive stamp set. And I'm going to stamp just inside, Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas. I think that's really cute. And you could use a different embossing folder. That's just one of the first ones I grabbed. Very simple cards, um, clean and simple, quick and easy, and just really, really fun just to pull out your stamp supplies and make some beautiful Christmas cards in no time at all. And I hope you've gotten some more ideas for your Christmas cards this year. And uh, I will have all the supplies and photos for all the cards listed on my blog for you. The description for that will be in the link below. And tomorrow will be the final day of my Christmas series for 2022. And I'm looking forward to sharing that card and the technique with you. So until then, take care. I appreciate you. Happy stamping.